I had the honor of being one of about 80 creators hosted by Disney for the Power of Joy Creator Summit for Black Creators. I get to do some pretty amazing things with this life and career that I've built over the years, but this may have been one of the most fulfilling experiences I've ever had. Our days included exclusive sneak peeks, panels, touring the animation studio, a stay at the Disneyland Resort and exploring Disneyland, and connecting with other black creators and with the black executives and talent within Disney who have been bussing down doors for people that look like us. I probably cried about three times a day during this summit because so many things hit me so hard. Sometimes you experience moments that feel so incredibly full circle. There were many moments during this trip I would find myself time traveling. Like suddenly I was a kid again before reality showed its true colors and all I knew was that I truly believed that I could do anything. I was adult Nikki sitting in the actual animation studio where my favorite characters were designed, learning to draw Mickey from an actual Disney animator. I was also six-year-old Nikki learning to draw Mickey in those instruction books that they used to sell back then. During this summit, I was Nikki now, an actor and creator who had built a career for herself working with the biggest studios in the world. I was also nine-year-old Nikki living in a motel with no money to do much else but watch my favorite princess movies again, or Spider-Man again. I was also even 25-year-old Nikki watching Captain America the Winter Soldier, realizing that I could leave the military and still be a person with worth and purpose. By the way, I got to meet Nate Moore, executive of production and development at Marvel Studios, and actually tell him that and be able to say thank you. Even in recent years, like truly starting my Star Wars journey full throttle as an adult, was a big part of reparenting myself. Speaking of which, I got to build my own droid and now I'm going to be insufferable around my home. <laughs> no exaggeration, these stories and characters have literally kept me alive and I don't think I would be here otherwise. Media is so important. It shapes how we see ourselves and how we see others. It provides stories to guide us sometimes when the adults that should have been leading us weren't. It provides escape, even if just for a few hours, to feel emotionally safe. To stand in the birthplace of the media that has literally kept me alive was a gift I never knew I needed. Thank you so much to Black leadership at Disney for giving us this opportunity and for recognizing and honoring Black creators that are trying to uplift our own in the digital space. I also want to say that I'm proud of my personal friends and colleagues for not only making a way for themselves, but truly throwing the rope back to others in our community to try and bring as many up with us as possible, for using their influence to highlight others, not tear others down. We all bring something unique to the table, and there's room at the top for all of us. I feel recharged and ready to move forward with that childlike optimism I forgot was possible. Little Nikki really, really needed this. I was with you. And also with you.